When looking at deepening your penetration testing skills, more advanced courses typically mean more money that you need to spend doing a course with extremely grueling conditions and even worse exam conditions. Fortunately, there are some industry challenges in this space trying to deliver high quality training material at a smaller price point with a focus on learning rather than suffering. This is where Zero Point comes in with Red Team Ops Part 2. In this video, we'll be checking out this course, its syllabus, the lab, and its exam to see if this is a good step for you in your pen test career. So I completed Red Team Ops Part 1 about 18 months ago, and I loved it so much I was always planning on doing Red Team Ops Part 2. Fortunately, Daniel from Zero Point actually reached out to me to give me access to this course for free for review. So thanks, Dan. The course syllabus will go into setting up your own C2 infrastructure in a secure and OPSEC safe way, a detailed look into how Windows internals work with the Win API, how to go about performing process injections, how defenses work and how to avoid them, as well as reducing your attack surface and additional evasion that you can use. Overall, I found the course quite easy to progress through and it did have a lin linear line of progression to complexity. That being said, the Windows API section and the process injection sections really had me scratching my head for a little bit as I don't have a strong C++ background. Like Red Team Ops 1, the course is very Cobalt Strike heavy, which has really highlighted the complexity of the C2 to me. While many of these concepts can be used on other C2 frameworks, there is a little bit of content here which is focused solely on Cobalt Strike, which does make it a little bit less transferable. So what would you have to already know to take on this course? Well, the prereqs on the website are a little bit vague, but I like to see it as having CRTO 1 done and dusted or something of a similar nature, uh, experience with Cobalt Strike, which you would have from RTO 1 or elsewhere, and a strong programming background, preferably with C Sharp or C++. The course is delivered through the learning material, which is purely text-based with some images, as well as the lab. The course content is somewhat short in terms of what's there. It's delivered over 84 pages of text and on the learning platform. But the concepts are deep, which means despite the smallish nature of the course, you will be spending hours going into the weeds with it. The lab is more of a sandbox for you to try these concepts that you've learnt in the course, similar to how CRTO 1 is laid out, but this is even less sequential than that. Like RTO 1, this is delivered through Apache Guacamole, which means you don't need to bring your own VM and worry about connection files, and that obviously has its downsides, which I've covered in other videos as well but the, lo the lab is snappy, responsive, and I didn't have any problems with it. One thing also to note is Zero Point frequently update the content over time, and you're licensed to access this material for a lifetime. So that means if there's any updates that happen, you don't have to pay any extra to view that content. It's all included. As a side note, I did reach out to Dan to talk to him about why there was no video content in the course, and this is what he had to say in response. There are two main reasons why I prefer text over video. The first is from a content creator perspective. They take a lot more time to produce and they can't easily be tweaked if you want to change something afterwards. This makes providing course updates for free much less of an attractive proposition. The second is from a consumer perspective. If I'm looking for a specific piece of information, then I can just search for it and find it on the page. You cannot do that with a video which leaves you scrub scrubbing back and forwards for ages. Given the course is lifetime access, the probability of people coming back to view the content multiple times is quite high, and I personally feel that having the majority of text is more beneficial than not. Obviously, I understand that people have different preferences, so I try and provide videos where the effort makes sense to invest. And after doing this course myself, I agree, and I didn't really feel a huge need for videos, apart from maybe some introductions to some concepts, things that aren't too code heavy to provide that broader picture before diving deeper. So now onto the exam. While I'm yet to complete this exam myself, if every account that I've read is that it is somewhat tough and you do need to reference concepts both in RTO 1 as well as 2. The exam is run over an eight day period or 96 hours of runtime or whichever elapses first, which means you can do this at your own pace over that timeline and you'll need to score a total of five out of six flags to complete the ex exam successfully. The first exam attempt is included free in the course. However, additional exams will cost only 99 British pound. So you might be thinking how much industry recognition this course will give you. And I can say it's pretty well positioned. It is noticed by officially by Crest. 
It is also listed on Cobalt Strike as one of their official training partners, as well as the CBEST and Corey frameworks for red teaming in financial institutions in the UK and Australia, recognize a zero point. As well as me personally, as a hiring manager for a red team, I know the qualification landscape and I see that this has a lot of weight. So onto the price point and how does it stack up price wise? Well, there's a few options here and it really comes down to how spread out you need to do the lab. So you can buy the course itself just for 399 British pound, or you can go for a 30 day lab pass for 429 pound, 459 for the 60 day or 489 for the 90 day lab pass. And if you sign up with the link in the description, you'll be directly supporting the channel as you go. If your lab expires, you can buy additional lab hours for a pretty reasonable rate too, and these should be on screen now. My advice is to buy the 60 day bundle, which should give you plenty of time in the lab and the hours to complete. But also in parallel, I recommend you set up your own environment with the same tools or as many tools as possible to replicate in your for things that you want to go a little bit deeper with. So now onto the pros and cons and starting with the pros, this is very high quality content at a very good price point. Normally this is locked away in several thousand dollar courses, which you can actually get for a pretty reasonable price here. It takes a small slice of what red teaming is, but then goes really, really deep in it. So you have hours of content here to really hone in your skills and learn the concepts very thoroughly in this course. And lastly, it's easy to pick up and run despite its in-depth nature. Now, as for the cons, as I mentioned, it would be nice to have at least a couple of videos for those high level concepts using analogies or basic animation to describe concepts before then diving deeper and having that text and code based samples as he's provided. Also, I think on the website, the prerequisites should be a little bit more clear to give students a better idea of what they need to brush up on before diving in. So now onto the bottom line. The Red Team Ops 2 course is a great deep dive into C2 infrastructure and defense evasion. This course has a narrow focus, but a great level of detail and students who complete this course will be much more equipped to handle the see through element of red teaming. These concepts are taught at a great level of detail with a price that is just right. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like, let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe for more videos just like this. Bye for now.